Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel Electrical Technology and Industrial Practice. So this is the third episode of Substation Equipment and uh, part 10 of the Substation Design video series. So in this video, we will be discussing the next five number of Substation Equipment. Okay, so let's begin the video. Okay, so in the last video, we have discussed about shunt capacitor. Now here comes the series capacitor. Okay, so purpose of series capacitor is it is used to improve the power transferability of EHV transmission line. Okay, by reducing the line impedance uh, because the net impedance is equal to the uh, difference between the captive uh, impedance and the uh, reactive impedance. So, if you add a series capacitor, then the net impedance reduces, net reactance reduces, okay. This is also called FRAT, flexible AC transmission system, okay. And these capacitor banks are located at sending end as well as receiving end or receiving end. The, this can be installed at both or any one and also bypass circuit breaker and protective spark gaps are provided, okay, along with the series capacitor. Okay, so the next item is marshalling box also known as marshalling kiosk okay uh, it is actually used to mount several instruments for monitoring and controlling and provide access to various transducer and it is an integral part of any equipment okay it comes with all the major equipments uh, okay so the control cabling is done between this marshalling box and the indoor panels uh, these are outdoor uh, element and located with along with transformer, circuit breaker, isolator, PT, CT, etc. So for transformer, all the uh, winding temperature uh, index indicator, oil temperature indicator, hmm, this comes to the marshalling box. These indicators are installed in the marshalling box. All the internal uh, re relays, transducers are connected to this marshalling box. The neutral CT is terminated to the marshalling box and from marshalling box, the cabling with the uh, internal uh, indoor panels are done. Also for circuit breaker, the external interfacing points are installed in the, are wired up to the marshalling box. Okay, similarly for isolator, PT, CT, etc. All internal wirings are taken to the marshalling box and from marshalling box, the control cabling is done to the indoor uh, panels. Okay, so basically it is an in integral part of all the equipments where the transducer, the monitors and the internal circuits are uh, terminated. Okay. Okay. So our next equipment is uh, metering panel and control and relay panel, which is also known as CRP. Okay. So as the name suggests, it is used to install the meters and relays. Actually, what happened, uh, uh, these are installed in the clean air conditioned room and control cabling is done between the, the CRP and metering panel and in the switch yard equipment like current transformer PT and uh, circuit breaker isolator. Okay, so basically the control relay panel CRP takes input from CT, PT uh, and uh, uh, gives output to circuit breaker. Okay. Also, the uh, interlock between circuit breaker and isolators are done through the CRP. Sometimes it is done through the CRP. Okay. Uh, and these are required for GIS also. For switch yard, it is required. For GIS also, it is required. But for normal metal clad switchboard, indoor switchboard, these are not required because these are the part of the main panel. Okay. For switch yard and GIS, the power circuit and the control. Uh, that is metering uh, relay circuits are separate so for those the two arrangements are required but for normal uh, air insulated metal clad switch gear all the things are housed in a single panel okay so for there the separate uh, panels are not required in the next item we will be discussing about the switch gear okay okay so our next item is uh, mb and lb switch gear panel or switchboard okay so it is used to provide the required number of feeder at desired voltage level so suppose you need to provide uh, five number of 11 kv uh, feeder so you will uh, get to uh, have to get a uh, 11 kv switchboard which will be having five number of outgoing feeder a vacuum circuit breaker outgoing feeder with necessary protection and this will fit the de desired amount of power okay for lt as i have already mentioned in my previous video auxiliary power video so for uh, in substation LT is required to give you the isolator circuit breaker and DC powers okay 
so for that reason all uh, reason this uh, auxiliary switch gears are required okay and these are generally indoor type panel and uh, located in the switch gear room so our next item is uh, station earthing system although it is not an equipment but it is a very essential part of substation okay so the earthing system serves the following purpose number one is to provide to prevent touch and step uh, voltage hazard okay number two is provide a low resistance path for earth fault current and uh, number three is provide a low resistance path for discharging current for lightning arrestor earthing switch shield wear uh, lightning protection system etc okay I have made a separate video on earthing system you will be uh, fi finding in, in my channel so you can check where I have detailed uh, I have made detailed uh, description on the earthing system and earthing design now here I am uh, describing it very briefly and earth mat or grid is uh, made and laid below the ground and generally at a depth of 600 mm or 1 meter and all the equipment structure transformer neutral generator neutrals are connected in the uh, earthing grid okay so this earthing grid has uh, different criteria of de design uh, to counter the touch and step potential hazard and also to take care of the short circuit current so based on that the grid grid design is uh, diff uh, is varied okay so you check it in my earthing system design video so for up to for today's video i am describing up to this and in the next video i will be describing uh, five more uh, equipment or used in the subscription so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed please like share comment and subscribe to our channel and please hit the bell icon to get uh, latest notifications of our video thank you very much for watching this video